In other parts of the state today marks 50 years since the death of a Houston serial killer known as the Candyman. Now, all these years later, there are new images of one of his victims who remains unidentified. Reporter Ugochi Iloka explains what new technology investigators are using to finally pinpoint who this teen could be. Thanks to facial reconstruction technology, authorities are one step closer to possibly learning the teen's name, who was killed by serial killer Dean Coral, a.k.a. Candyman, in the 70s. And then you'll notice that the image is also black and white because even if we know uh, the ancestry is likely Caucasian, we don't know exact um, hair color, eye color, skin tone. But it's a solid start after cleaning the new images of the victim up. Forensic imaging specialists estimate they are 80 to 90 percent accurate. The size of the, the orbits, you're going to be able to see everything from the you know potential placement of the eyes to the brow ridge. In 1973, accomplice Elmer Wayne Henley's confession and murder of Dean Coral shed light on the murders of at least 28 boys and young men. 17 of their victims were found wrapped in plastic in a Houston boat shed with one victim still not identified today. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children says new pictures show not only what the victim may have looked like, but what he was wearing. The teen wore a lace-up shirt with a peace symbol on the back and writing underneath the design, plus leather cowboy boots. The victim also wore striped swim trunks with a silver belt buckle with the letter C and wings on it. The actual photograph, uh, unedited and unaltered by the forensic artist. Overall, they've generated 235 digital reconstructions and 49 have led to positive IDs on previously unknown victims. That's Ugo Chi Iloka reporting tonight. In 2021, Texas EcuSearch announced that it was renewing the search for more victims. Founder Tim Miller estimates that there are at least 20 more victims out there today.